Blog Talk Radio. Welcome to Real Estate Coaching Radio, America's number one trusted resource for realtors who demand authentic, real-time coaching. Starring award-winning real estate coaches Tim and Julie Harris. Get ready for unfiltered, full-strength honesty about what is truly working to get you into action and make you money in this new real estate boom. Now to our hosts, Tim and Julie Harris. Welcome back to Real Estate Coaching Radio. We are joined today by Gabriel Gross, the co-founder of RealBird, an all-in-one real estate marketing platform with a large and diverse set of features, including listing syndication, single property websites, virtual tours and widgets, map-based property search, social and mobile real estate marketing, and much more. Gross brought to RealBird over 40 years of experience in sales, marketing, and business development for enterprise software applications, including CRM, e-commerce, and wireless systems. His experience includes best practices from past roles at large corporations, as well as an understanding of small business needs from his tenure in the technology startup sector. Gross has a Master's of Science in Engineering from the Polytechnical Institute of Timisara, Romania, and training in business and process management. So let's join Gabriel Gross along with our host, Tim Harris. So welcome back, and thank you, Mr. Ventura, for that intro. And Gabriel, welcome to today's call, and thank you for being my co-host. I look forward to uh, today's radio show. And as all of our listeners know, uh, we choose different companies uh, to feature on Real Estate Coaching Radio because of the fact that we've gotten so much positive feedback from our other coaching students. So if you're ever wondering how we go about selecting and asking, uh, and sometimes we get asked to be on the show, what other companies we like to kind of feature, it's just that. I mean, if I'm hearing a lot of good feedback, my other coaches are saying that, you know, all their students are saying XYZ company is doing a great job for them. Well, that company deserves to be featured on the radio because, guys, right now there's so much noise out there. So many of you are getting so many emails and other solicitations uh, Tim Ventura and I, uh, he and I were counting. There's probably close to 250 companies now that weren't in business, say, even 36 or let alone 60 months ago. They're now in the business of selling you guys stuff. It could be postcards. It's a lot of times selling you guys buyer leads. It's Internet marketing this. It's web page that. So the amount of companies and information you guys got to sift and sort through to know if the good, bad, and the ugly, it's overwhelming. There's no doubt. Which, by the way, brings me up to uh, I'm sort of this is a pre-announcement. We're going to be launching a new website called Tim and Julie Harris Reviews. Where literally we're going to leave it up to you guys to start reviewing all these companies that are in, you know that are uh, uh, soliciting you guys constantly. So you can go and read real-time feedback from other agents about what they think about that particular product or service. So just keep that in mind. That's going to be hopefully launching uh, sometime in the next couple of weeks. But without any further delay, I want to welcome today's co-host, Gabriel Gross, to today's radio show. Welcome, Gabriel. I appreciate you being with us today. Thank you very much for having me. So let's start, first of all, Let's lot, let the listeners know um, uh, what Real Bird does. I mean, Real Bird is, does a lot of things, not just one, and you guys do a lot of things well. So, can you let the listeners know what you guys do, kind of what your unique selling propositions are? Yes, we provide a uh, tool set for agents to market themselves online to generate buyer and seller leads. And that tool set has several components two main components, a property search and the listing publisher. And then within those two comp- major components, there are several features. And the idea is that you need a tool set these days in order to generate leads because there's so many places where a potential seller or buyer can go to when they start looking for to sell or to buy a home. And, you know, some people employed, uh, you know, they, they can go to virtual assistants and they do it for them. Uh, this is also used by them, but we provide this tool set that makes it easy for them. And some people use parts of it, and some people use all of it, and it's very, very successful. Well, so help me understand. You just said something very interesting, and I really like the idea of bringing more efficiency 
um, to our listeners' businesses and also more efficiency generally means greater profit. So you mentioned the fact that your software essentially makes it so that they don't necessarily have to have um, either a virtual staff person or a real staff person, on-site staff person, uh, doing certain functions. What typically do agents use RealBird? Uh, what are the core aspects of the software, and, and how might that software enable them to maybe lighten the load in terms of staffing needs? So um, there is, like with everything, a little bit of a learning curve, but I keep telling my clients that if they know how to copy-paste, then they're almost there. And, <laughs> of course, we have these webinars to teach them. It's not just about getting a tool, like any tool set, you have to learn how to use it, and the efficiency uh, of it depends on how smart you work as well, just like with any other tool set. Now here, what uh, is, uh, uh, there is ma manual parts that need to be done, but some of it is also automated. For example, we give, um, we, we do um, automated syndication, so if agents uh, enter their listings, then uh, we syndicate it out to the major suspects, and uh, that yeah. is automated. We give them various tools to, mark, to um, um, promote their own brand. And the important part is here that it also has a cumulative long-term effect. As uh, The more you do, and if you do it right, the, the better results you get over time. Now, some agents prefer to do it themselves, uh, and it's really, it really takes only a few minutes uh, to maintain this. But some agents then prefer to, of course, use their assistance. We have just launched, to answer your question about productivity, we have just launched, and so it's, it's a good timing for, for me to announce this, a, um, a facility whereby we can actually import agents' listings, either from IDX feeds where we have them, which we don't have very many, but we have a few, but more importantly for brokers and for agents, if they have an XML feed, uh, then we can import their listings directly and, and hook that up, and then they don't have to worry about it. It's all automated about the listing syndication. Then there is, of well, course, manual tech as well. So let me jump in here. A majority of our listeners are, I'd say, you know, we'll have over 50,000 people listening this month, and I'd say a majority of them are individual agents. Our focus is empowering the individual agent because that's really the heart and the soul of the real estate industry. So with that in mind, can you tell us a little bit about, uh, like, for example, there's a listing publisher tool, um, and that creates a single property website, has both social media and Craigslist integration. Can you tell us a little bit more about how that works? The way it works is um, you, they can, uh, an agent who has a new listing logs into their real bird account and enters the listing very much like in the MLS. It's, it's a manual process unless they use this new automated feature, import feature. And uh, they upload the pictures, they enter content, and they press the publish button. This whole thing takes about maybe five, 10 minutes if they have their information together. And then we, do, uh, we create automatically a property website out of it, a virtual tour. They can then create videos by using Animoto, for example, or a screen recorder. We automatically assign the maps, the schools, the, 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 the um, uh, walk score, etc. Some of it is automatically created uh, from the, the uh, location. <clears throat> and uh, we syndicate the listing out to various places, Zillow, Trulia, etc. We have a whole list of that. Now, each listing also has um, embedded uh, uh, the various social media sites, the major social media sites such as Facebook, Google+, uh, LinkedIn, uh, Pinterest, etc. And they can then launch that and generate leads from that channel. There's six major, major channels online through which agents can generate leads. Uh, I have a document about that, but uh, automatic syndication is only one. Then there's classifieds, there is Google ranking, there is uh, social media, there's places like YouTube, uh, Active Rain, uh, blogging, etc. So uh, we cover all those, and the agents choose which they want to use. So what I'm hearing you say is if, uh, with your software that an agent loads up their listing. I'm sure they write a description, puts in multiple pictures, and then they can check boxes in essence and decide where they want that information syndicated. Is that what I'm hearing you say? Well, except the boxes. Right now it's an all or nothing uh, proposition that is uh, out of the box as it comes. We can actually, if some agent doesn't want the listing to be syndicated to a particular place, we can exclude that. Then they have to email us and we put an exclusion in there. Uh, we, we don't want 
see for at this this whole product costs ninety nine dollars a year, and we don't want to make to add too many options <clears throat> because then our support costs go up and we have to uh, raise the price. Raise the price. So we yeah. that's why we 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 choose very carefully. I guess in a way, uh, you know, this is not a real good comparison in terms of size, but uh, Apple does the same thing. They choose what not to put in, not what to put in, because that's really what determines the the success of a product, and we're we're trying to keep it simple and usable. Well, so this is this is something that someone has, like they take a new listing. This is where I'm, I'm kind of putting the pieces together. I don't do, I do a fair amount of research on uh, all the companies that we feature on the radio, uh, on the radio show, Gabriel. But I like to learn uh, for the first time as I'm talking to the people we're interviewing, because that's in essence how our listeners are learning. So as I'm putting this pieces the pieces together, I'm hearing what you're describing for me is really a fantastic tool. Getting back to the assistant uh, idea that you brought up earlier that this is essentially doing what a lot of agents are now paying a uh, listings coordinator to do, for example, and, and taking all the time and loading all the listings to all the different websites that gen generate business. So I can I can already see – you said $99 for the year? It's $99 for a year with unlimited wow. listings. And the reason we – the reason uh, we um, allow unlimited listings is because what happens is so that was the original idea as well is that as you publish these listings and you keep the solds each sold listing if you do it right and when i say it, you do it right if you add neighborhood information and information about yourself your testimonials and why they should work with you and things of that sort each listing becomes a listing-centric agent website, and it lives right. beyond the sold point. So now, of course, sales is a numbers game, and the more touch points on the Internet you have, the more likely you're going to win. It's like the lottery, right? It's a numbers game. And so these listings, then they exist until you take them off, which there's no, if you don't have to, you don't need to have to take them off. And they promote you, the agent, even as sold. So you accumulate. So that's what I meant about this cumulative process, where you publish listings, and the more of these you have, it's a little bit like having more fishing poles in the water, right, at the lake when you fish. Yeah, that's fantastic. I love that analogy. Um, I understand that Craigslist has made uh, changes recently that made it harder to generate leads. They're removing the hyperlink backs uh, to single listing sites, single listing pages. How does that affect your single uh, property websites and Craigslist marketing? I actually think that that was a positive development because it's a little bit like the glass is half full instead of half empty, and i tell you why. My own daughter went to Craigslist about a year ago, and she clicked on a link, and her computer got wiped out. And there were a lot of stories like that. So Craigslist was trying to eliminate phishing links and all the scam links, and so they started restricting these uh, these listings that happened in, in the real estate ads. Now, by not allowing these links uh, – you know, of course, it's limited. But with us, what agents can do is they can set up a texting code and that, a call to action for texting, which automatically goes into this uh, Craigslist ad that they get from us for the listing. And then people will text. Now, the good thing about the texting is that nobody's afraid to text, number one, because there's no viruses yet. I mean, there's, it's starting to happen, but, but nobody's afraid to text, number one. Two, is very convenient. And three, the agent always gets a lead because they get the phone number. So as opposed to a link in there where, you know, you can have 100 people click on it and you will never know who clicked on it until they send you an email. So this is actually a really good development for those people who, who understand this and they start using Craigslist in this manner. Yeah, that's a good point. So can you tell us about your social media integration? Yes, well, there's uh, each listing is integrated uh, with the major social media uh, sites uh, like f Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, uh, uh, Google+, Plus, etc., etc. That is m not so much for the agent himself to use, although the agent has to start it, uh, but it's mostly for the consumers who find the listing interesting and they want to promote it to their friends and, and family and so on. And then they can use their social media um, own social media links to promote this link, this this listing, and we see that uh, that is becomes has become a major channel of generating leads. Uh, people like the listing; they click on the like button, or they click the G plus, or they put it on their Pinterest even, and so on. And so it's it's a great way for the agent to generate uh, um, uh, leads from this whole social media world. 
I'm sort of curious. Do you guys you guys must have an absolute incredible ability to collect data on as far as where leads are coming from, analytics, if you will. Um, is that information that you share with a listing agent? Because from a listing agent's perspective, that would be fantastic information to show a seller on a listing presentation. Well, so I think it's even better than that. You know, instead of reinventing uh, a new uh, um, uh, system that uh, tracks uh, who, where the clicks are coming from and so on, we allow agents to use uh, Google Analytics or, or get clicky. And they can put the Google Analytics code into their RealBird account, and that tracks everything. And I think uh, that Google, you know, Google Analytics and Clicky, they are the two top um, intelligence collecting uh, services. So you know, it, you can get anything that's available through those reports and what have you, and then send it to your clients. So even the tech-savvy agents out there, which I realize are a majority of you that are listening, here's the concept. You're on a listing presentation. Um, you're talking about your marketing. It's one thing to tell the sellers what you're doing for marketing. It's another thing to show the sellers what you're doing for marketing and show them how you track what works and what doesn't. It's something that all of our students, we teach you guys how to do that as part of the listing presentation. But the real driver here is with a system like this, and obviously you integrate it with um, Google Analytics or Get Clicky, like you said, you can then show the seller, Mr. Seller, when I put your listing, um, when I take your listing, you hire me to be your listing agent, and I expose the house on all these different websites here and all these different social networking channels and all these different you know, widgets essentially to get the word out there. Here are the ways that I keep track. Here's what works. Here's what doesn't. This is the reason I put my marketing effort towards this and not towards that. It really instills in the seller um, – the idea that you know what you're doing. You're not just taking the dartboard and throwing some darts against it, right, as most agents do. A lot of sellers, guys, especially if you're in the more expensive price ranges, they are business folks of some variety, and they know to think like that already. And when they see that you're actually taking a more professional approach to getting their property sold and you're actually tracking what works and what doesn't, that in itself sometimes can be the deciding factor whether they list with you or somebody else. Um, mobile uh, integration. Mobile's huge nowadays, obviously. I know our radio show is almost exclusively listened to on mobile devices. Can you share with the listeners uh, what you guys are doing with mobile? Yes, actually, uh, we have probably a fairly, un probably the most unique capability here. I haven't seen it in many places. I've seen them separately, but not together. And uh, that is um, that. If they set up a uh, a, a client can uh, an agent can set up a phone number with a company called Twilio. It's T W I L I O. That costs one dollar a month for all, for for the, the account plus one cent for for a message. So it's practically free. Uh, if they do that, each listing that they enter gets a code automatically for texting. Now that can be customized. Uh, so for example, you can have. Uh, text uh, ABC to this number to see this listing and put it out in front of the house. And then you can reuse the panels, of course. That's why we let them to customize. That's one of the reasons we let them uh, customize these. And each listing then has that code. Now, in addition to that, we just have announced about a few months ago, two months ago, uh, what's called uh, SMS AnyLink. And that allows an agent to generate any code for any URL. So they can have up to 100 of those in addition to the uh, property uh, codes. And they can have, for example, text 888 to this number to see my latest IDX search or text uh, XYZ to this number to see uh, open homes in this area or my website or some squeeze page or what have you. And then they can promote these in their uh, written flyers and, I don't know, buy a freeway sign and what have you. And it's very, very effective, of course, because remember, with texting, you always get the phone number of, somebody, of, of, the, of, of the texter. Uh, that never happens online until they opt in. Right. And you know you're bringing up something, Gabriel, that we talked about yesterday. I, I had a uh, co-host yesterday as well, and he, were, he and I were talking about the importance of lead follow-up. And, yeah, you're right. I mean, unless you have a phone number, uh, you know, returning an email is really not as effective as picking up the phone. And I like how you guys are starting to focus on driving people towards uh, sending a text because then you do get their cell phone number and you can call them back. And, listeners, if you didn't listen yesterday, uh, here's the bottom line. 
the faster you follow up with the lead, the more likely you are to convert the lead. In other words, uh, every study that's ever been done, we've done here in our business and really virtually anything else you read online, shows that if you follow up with the lead within literally 60 seconds of originally receiving the lead, your probability of uh, making that lead into a client is something like increases something like by 75%. So, you know, going back to Gabriel's point, it is a numbers game. But at the same time, it's a lead follow-up game. You can have all the leads in the world, but if you're not doing an effective, fast job of following up, then guess what? You're going to starve. So the bottom line here is, yes, lead follow-up, but really fast, or as we like to call it, furiously fast lead follow-up makes a difference. I'm curious, have you guys ever done any studies on that from your internally, like agents uh, and follow-up and all that? I'm just maybe It's not really in your wheelhouse. I'm just curious if you ever have. Uh, well, uh, we do ask agents about this, and we have these uh, webinars, and uh, uh, actually we work together with somebody who does the webinars, and he builds WordPress sites for people. He knows more. We have agents who now getting more than half of their, their leads and their sales from, from mobile devices. It, it's incredible. I mean, they have like – and, and they learn how to use this. So it, it, it's all about – it's a little bit about luck as well, so you can't really eliminate the, the, the location, you know, where they are. I mean, in some places it's not that hot, but in the hot areas where people are high-tech and they use cell phones, which is probably 90% of, of, of the U.S., I have, I, I've seen agents lead sites where they have more than half, hundreds of leads, and they get like, like five or six leads a day just from mobile. Yeah, it's pretty incredible. So let's talk a bit about the Real Bird Property Search. You've actually built a private, white-labeled search engine that gives clients uh, access to listings nationwide and helps you refer inquiries to other agents. Can you tell us about that? Well, we we started that back uh, about six years ago or seven years ago when Google still had a classified site, if you remember, Google Base. And we wanted to have um, a way to add to each property website a link that shows nearby homes for sale. Now, the property, the listing publisher and the property websites cover the U.S. because it's manual. You can enter a list, uh, you can enter a, a location and create the property website. But, of course, there are 600 or 700 or how many MLSs. So for us, it was not feasible to, um, to go to 600 MLSs to get IDX data to create these links. So we created a service here with Google to uh, create this property search, and we're getting the listings from, from Google Base. Now, then Google Base closed that, and now we moved, uh, well, about three years ago, we moved to Oodle.com, and we're getting the listings from them. Now, it took a, interestingly, it took a life of its own, and a lot of people come to us just for that property search. I wish it wasn't like that, because a property search is not, not better than a nice business card, even the best one, because, of course, it doesn't generate leads until somebody looks at it and calls you on it. And right now, these property searches on the websites, you know, a lot of these websites, they can be found. So, but people are coming for it, and it is very popular. Uh, we also have, uh, in some areas, IDX feeds. Uh, the, uh, it's a lead generation tool. We never position it as a replacement for IDX because it's not, it's not a replacement for IDX. But for lead generation, oddly enough, we terminated a few IDX contracts where they started charging money for the IDX feeds, and we replaced it with, uh, for certain clients with this property search, and actually worked better than the other one. And I think the reason is this major so like, uh, invisible force online that agents don't understand, and that is that most people have a short attention span. And when they have a short attention span, and if you give them something complicated, then they get somehow involved in that complicated thing, and they, they, they don't get to the point where the call to action is, and they should call you. So, for example, these complicated IDX tools, what happens, they give you all the search parameters for this, for that, for, you, for your, the color of the chimney, for all kinds of for pools and so on. People use it, and by the time they figured it out, uh, you know, the kids are crying or they have to go to work or something. So they, they leave it there and, and, and they haven't found a property that they would, they would uh, call on. And so these simple tools like we have really generate much better leads in general than, than those complicated ones. And so I think that's why the success, uh, that, that's why this is so successful. So this is a white-labeled version. In other words, listeners, that means that you uh, are going to have just your name on this little search widget. That, that's correct, right, Gabriel? 
That's correct, and they get all the leads. We don't we don't sell the leads, or you know, once they set up an account, they whoever owns the owns owns the, the account uh, uh, is that brands the the property search, and they can put it on their websites, or they can put it on Craigslist, or they can put it on Craigslist services. They can put it on Facebook. Uh, they can drip their Twitter with it through the RSS feeds. So there's whatever they want to do, they can do it. They can create niche searches. There's four four uh, uh, interfaces to it, uh, uh, tabular search, uh, map search, uh, uh, Pinterest style board, uh, widget search, slideshow, RSS feed, uh, plugin for for uh, WordPress sites. So they can use this in any way. But again, it's an add-on. It, buying our service for that property search is a little bit like buying a car for the car radio. Uh, you know, it's it, it's there, it's good, it's great, but it's I think the whole service whole system by itself that is really the power of it. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you realize that they're buying it. Uh, you know, you're saying that this property search widget is part of the $99. Is that correct? That's correct. Or is yes. it extra? Yeah. Well, the reason they're doing it is because it's cheaper than paying for NIDEX feed. That's why. <laughs> yeah, and in some right? places they, there's no IDX. Like in New York, they don't get IDX. Uh, right. And, and it, yeah. yeah. Yeah, makes perfect sense. Okay, yeah, I mean, I'm I'm impressed. It seems to me like anyone who's uh, an existing listing agent or is ramping up to become a listing agent and, and wanting to obviously see the sees the greatest opportunity that is part of this new real estate boom, which is being a listing agent, guys. I mean, in a lot of ways, in a lot of markets, being a listing agent is really where the you know the best money is going to be. Opportunity uh, will always follow listing agents. It's always been true, always will be true that the richest of the rich agents are listing agents. You're not going to find agents that are able to build long-term, ever-increasingly you know, profitable real estate businesses purely off buyers. It doesn't exist. It never will exist. This is a perfect tool because as I'm thinking like a listing agent, you have now an ability with this software that a real bird is to essentially maybe even largely um, have the software replace a staff member or maybe reassign the staff member to more dollar productive activities. Because if you, I mean, I was just thinking as we were going through these questions, if you were to add up the amount of time it takes to write all those ads, place all those ads, do all this other stuff that the software does, you're talking about for every listing, it's got to be 10 or 12 hours, and RealBird does it all for you automatically. And from just, I mean, I'm sure we just kind of glossed over the surfaces of what it offers. So, I mean, this sounds like something that if you guys are, uh, you know, if you're ready to take your business to the next level, and again, this is also can be used as a listing tool. You can take RealBird's checklist of all the places where the listing will be syndicated, for example, and add it to your listing plan of action. There's so many ways to use this. My mindset is always about ways to drive more um, net profit down to your guys' bottom line, and I can see how for $99 a year, this is kind of a no-brainer. So, Gabriel, I really appreciate you being my co-host today. Anything else you'd like to say to the listeners before we sign off? Well, thank you very much uh, for having me. There is a free version that anybody can sign up to. Go to realbird.com, click on uh, uh, register. It's free. You have limitations there, but you can enter two listings, play around with it, and if you decide to pay your $99, then you have one month's uh, money-back guarantee, so you, your risk is practically zero. But do try out the texting. Do try out the mob, mobile. If, you, if you're not into the mobile space today, then, then I think you're losing out today. And this is a very easy way now to get going. Uh, and if you have questions, please call us. We're always available on the phone. We return the call usually within uh, 90 seconds. Okay, well, Gabriel, I really appreciate you being today's co-host and listeners. There you go. And, and Gabriel, it's realbird.com, correct? Yes, it's realbird.com. All right, Tim, let's go ahead and wrap it up. And I appreciate all of you uh, listening today. And, again, your homework, like from every radio show, is to share this uh, radio show with as many other agents as you possibly can. Uh, tweet it, Facebook it. Uh, you know, we really sincerely appreciate all the loyal listeners the radio show has quickly become uh, what appears to be the most popular real estate coaching radio show online. And uh, guys, realize that this real estate industry that we all find ourselves in is, at least for the next 10 years in my opinion, going to be one of the best places, the best ways for you to make money but also help a lot of folks. 
you know, listen to our past radio shows. A lot of you guys that are listening are new to real estate. I realize that probably 30% of our listeners are new realtors. You guys can go back and listen to our past radio shows and get really a great, great basis for your education. If there's ever anything we can do for you, you go to timandjulieharris.com, or, of course, you can go to freecoachingcallsforagents.com, freecoachingcallsforagents.com, and we'll talk with you on the radio tomorrow. This program has been a presentation by Tim and Julie Harris, Real Estate Coaching. For more information on our real estate coaching and training programs, visit our website at timandjulieharris.com. Remember to tune in weekdays at noon for upcoming shows. And until next time, thank you for listening to Real Estate Coaching Radio with Tim and Julie Harris.